Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, it's been a while since I last uploaded um, new videos, new contents and it's one of the reasons is due to the current pandemic situation uh, and right now um, I'm heading off somewhere for some important things to do I'm actually going to be taking uh, MRR2 so I've decided on distributing a few uh, of the uh, BMW 1 Series uh, Club t-shirt that uh, I asked my friend to print out for all of us we have about 8 members who will be collecting the t-shirts so yeah we are at uh, Sungai Buloh right now that side the opposite side wow traffic is starting to build up already it was gloomy throughout the whole day since uh, early in the morning it was drizzling just now and then it stopped and you know typical uh, end of the year weather just that um, hopefully I can go there and get back home safely later and get my things done so while I'm on my way here uh, to the Shell MRR2 I actually have not make like a proper video or basically a video on my new car this is the BMW 1 Series 120i M Sport trim you want to compare with the other uh, models I mean the other car brands um, I may say that I'm not an expert I, I mean other than knowing the fact that this is a rear wheel drive and other hatchbacks under its class is on front wheel drive one thing I can compare this one series is with my previous one series so as much as I really really like the E87 81 one series this F model the F2021 it's really really different but you still feel that you're in a one series basically it's a huge step up for me because this is a 120i and my previous one series was a 116i 1.6 naturally aspirated M45 uh, engine with double Venos high rev kicking in to get a little bit punch of power to overtake someone you know it's fun it's fun even though it's honestly a very very slow car I mean the acceleration is very very far to compare with this 120i but it it's it's a good car I can tell I can say because I I had fun driving it up to Genting driving it everywhere you know I've been to many places so it's a car that really really makes me happy every time when I drive it in terms of its maintenance um, it's, it's actually quite good quite okay for a BMW not as high as the higher engine capacities I mean I do hear some people saying that the N46 2 litre may be a little bit of a hassle these days because of the age also I mean age is a factor but throughout the years of having the 116i I don't think I found any BMW that is as reliable as my one series. Okay, let's talk about this car's reliability. I mean, I've been using it about three months now, three months, three months plus, and uh, Alhamdulillah, there's not much of a problem so far. I managed to go for Genting night drive with my one series club members a few weeks after I bought it just to test how it performs well it does handle well using the Bridgestone S001 Potenza RFT and it's really really a bad tire for me I mean in my opinion because it's just too stiff and with the M Sport suspension in this car it's a little bit on the firm side which is fine to me as a young 
younger person, I would say. <laughs> In fact, for those who are within the age of 40 to 50s or mid 50s, I don't think the ride is that uncomfortable because it actually does handles well. Lah. Mm. But the thing is, with the Bridgestone S001 Potenza RFT that, the, that BMW provides, I think it's very, very jarring. It's very firm uh, to a point you really feel that it doesn't really give you any difference in terms of performance. It's still the same. So, <clears throat> as, I, as soon as I've bought this car, I straight away changed my tires. I mean, once you buy a used car, a second-hand car, the most important thing is to look at your tires. If your tires are worn out or has expired, then that is the first thing you should do because tires play a, a, a major role. Okay, you see these yellow lines here? Yep. I don't know if you can notice it, but even though I'm on my new tires, uh, I'm using RFT also, lah, but it's definitely better. However, because of the st stiffness of the M Sport suspension, yeah, you can see that it's, it's quite firm. It's very, very firm. Especially when you go through the red lines. You know, I really hate those red lines. I don't know what we call it, but yeah, it's just so bad. Uh, it's very bad. But on highways, you really feel like you're in the sports hatchback. Though this is not like a fast uh, hot hatch or anything similar this is not a hot hatch it's a warm hatch i would say it's not as quick as a normal hot hatch cars but it gives a decent amount of power i mean if i were to compare with my previous one series it's a whole lot more better than the you know than the than my previous one series the interior is awesome I love the Alcantara uh, fabric seats. Oh, you see here, oh, very firm. But it's still alright. If I was using the Bridgestone S001 right now, I think even my GoPro can't handle the stabilization. <laughs> yup. Okay, so while waiting for my friends, I've turned off the engine. And yeah, here's a quick look on the interior of the 120i M Sport so I just love the Alcantara seat here with the blue uh, honeycomb trim here it makes the car look so nice and sexy inside you really feel like you're in a very premium sports hatchback yep. I just love the black roof lining the rain is quite heavy right now so not surprised lah because everywhere now it's just raining and raining non-stop <laughs> if you see from far I don't know whether you can see the trim here it's a little bit it's not just a normal silver color it has a pattern here and in the previous model E81 E87 M Sport trim, you have this sort of snaky pattern which makes it look a little bit more aggressive leather, rather than just normal silver plane. You also have the silver trim here at your door panel. So the side here, usually for the BMWs, they have they they come with uh, leather but this is to also match the seats that has the honeycomb pattern so really really makes it more well balanced i really like the 8 inch iDrive screen it's not so big it's not so small it's precise it's just nice and i really like the iDrive i mean this iDrive as Previous iDrive CIC, uh, the previous one, CIC or CCC, all those are really, really useless at this point. I mean, at this, this era, you know, it's just pointless. So we go with the ignition. Then there goes your 
menu put your car into ignition and then let's try to start this car typical BMW you have to put your uh, your foot on the brake in order for you to start the car I mean it's typical continental cars in fact I think even Japanese cars do this nowadays you know so moving on so this is what you see it's not the shadow edition the shadow edition uses the digital cluster though it, it's very nice but I still like this uh, cluster because it has the orange light the classic BMW orange cluster like you have this you have this orange as well actually you can change the ambient light to orange or white uh, I like it white because it's a little bit unique so when I'm driving at night I can feel that this is not really an old car this is not like a five-year-old car it's like brand new it really feels new so many things you can do on the display or on this iDrive though you don't have Apple CarPlay you may install at any aftermarket shop which is actually easy from the price of 1k to 1007 well it depends depends on the, the shop lah we also have the split screen content which you can actually change if you want so in my case I put it I put the efficient dynamics because I just love the the graphic the look of it because it shows that your one series is on efficient mode I mean whether you're and, and you know when when you're on eco pro mode so basically now you're on comfort mode okay normal mode lah comfort is normal mode for this car but when you're on eco pro mode your rpm will drop slightly lower you see yup this is to make your car more efficient and eco-friendly <laughs> uh, i love using this eco pro mode since i have not been going for any rides you know usually when you go for rides you definitely go with sport or sports plus but now we, we hardly go anywhere far you know so we just drive any somewhere nearby or somewhere that we have to go with eco pro mode i can easily get about 550 uh highway and city driving i mean depends lah results may vary as depends on your foot <laughs> how heavy your foot is and how light your foot can be back to this i drive you have i mean the split screen allows you to see your your efficient dynamics so that means when you're when you are driving and you release the throttle it will go to the charge here that means it's recharging and that's when less fuel uh, will be consumed and you can see from the rear axle that it is actually cycling so it's, it's kind of fancy lah you don't need to understand much about it I mean I, I don't really understand 100% how it works but I know that when it transmits from the rear axle and all it's actually <clears throat> giving the most energy from the battery i i would say and uh, yeah it does its job pretty well it is surprising i don't know whether this feature is only in malaysia or for all our one series out there but you have a keyblad here so that means you know where's the keyblad for muslims especially for for you to pray so the it's this way you know so it's really really a good feature I never expected to have like a keyblad compass in this car I mean who would have thought of it lah <laughs> and we have standard lah onboard computer and then we have trip computer uh, this is <laughs> the trip computer that has that has not been reset for quite some time you have your entertainment details so, the rain is getting heavier when you turn your radio you can see your light fm or when you turn on your spotify you can see your spotify your song title 
and sometimes you may see the album cover, the album art. It depends on the size of the pixel. I mean, because some of the songs when I play, you can't see the album art. So I assume maybe it's because of the graphic size that is not suitable to be displayed here. You can also see your Spotify over here, but you don't want to like disturb this part, this section. And yeah, it's, it's, it's quite convenient to see like two things at the same time. <laughs> this big thing, this big circle is basically a touchpad. Not, not just a touchpad, you can, you can actually write a word to search for something like for instance, manual. I just put M here. And then it will appear that M. Like, for example lah. One more. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite view every single time when I'm in this one series. Comparing with my old one series, I mean, it has a unique steering wheel, even though that's like the entry level steering wheel. But, I like it. Yeah, I just love it. But this one is, is more than just, I love it. It's... <laughs> I love it so so much. Okay, in terms of maintenance, I've changed the tires that cost about for RFT, you know lah what's the price. So it's within the price of 1k. I mean depends how many things four tires can be from 2k plus to 4 to 5k. Whether you're using RFT, sports tires, eco tires, yeah. I mean the price may, may vary lah. Real speed sensor came out. What I heard from my F20 members is that the wheel speed sensor in the one series is always a problem. I mean, for people who drive hard like me and drive normal at the same time, the wheel speed sensor is just trash, it's just very bad. So I've changed to a, a good brand, uh, the rear, and so far it's been doing quite good, no problems. And then I had problems with the fog lamp down there, the left fog lamps. I mean, the only problem was that the bulb was out lah. So I changed the, the, the bulb and then my, my car key remote battery was already out. I mean, this is a five year old car and quite, quite too early I would say. But yeah, I managed to change it, service my car, change to fully synthetic oil. I flushed the engine oil, the previous engine oil, um, clean it up, and then maintaining with uh, Brown 97 Octane or V-Power Racing since the fuel price is quite okay and has been at home for quite some time. Yeah, it's really, really good. I love it. Uh, I really hope this one series doesn't have, doesn't make much problems because Yes, I know this car has more electronic components rather than my previous 116i But I am going to trust that this car will treat me well just like how I treat this car Hope that this uh, pandemic situation gets better so that every one of us can roam freely on the streets So yeah, peace out everyone, bye bye <laughs>